Hello, hello, and hello to all of my Sagittarius. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading, Sagittarius. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say. Sagittarius, we're in a still um, celebrating a new moon. We're in a new cycle, new moon, um, feeling the effects of a new moon, uh, Sagittarius. So um, new moon in Aries that we experienced on the 21st. Um, of this month. This reading, by the way, is for the 24th of uh, March through the 24th of, um, you know, through the 24th of um, April. All right. So we have the star card, La Bruja, which is, you know, somebody may have felt foolish. Here we have the moon card. Um, somebody may feel like that somebody's um, uh, practicing some kind of witchcraft. Um, on you, you know, somebody from your past, you may feel like somebody is practicing some kind of witchcraft and source is saying to you, if you really believe that the way that you can stop it is by uh, closing out the insecurities of your mind, like overthinking it, stop talking about it. Like it's, it's, it's like somebody is giving life to something and it's giving fire to it. Like your third eye could be open about something, but source is saying you got to save yourself by physically getting away from it. So for instance, if you feel like somebody is practicing some kind of witchcraft in your past and you feel like, okay, I keep talking about it. I feel like they're practicing witchcraft. Guess what? You just gave air to it. You just gave life to it, right? And so you're giving power to it. You're giving intellect to it. And source is saying to you, release it. Take that sword right here and go ahead and sever ties with it. That means to stop thinking about it. Every time it, it comes up in your mind, toss it into a fire bowl. That's how you're going to heal yourself from this. Because the more air you give to it as a fire sign, it's going to emotionally drain you. And that's exactly what the enemy wants you to be drained. So that you're not motivated by anything. You don't feel like getting out of the bed. You're just emotionally drained and all of that. So something from your past is coming up again when you feel like somebody is a witch. Somebody is practicing witchcraft. Right. And so, again, source is saying um, moving forward, you you're learning how to take a risk. You're starting a new endeavor. You're you're optimistically starting a new cycle. Right. Optimistically, you know, starting a new cycle. So be very careful. Be very, very careful. Be very careful. Now, there are some people who are who could be practicing good witchcraft. It may not be bad witchcraft like you think it is. So that's where they have that portal open to receive information even about you um, and, and avoiding you. Where so, um, But anybody who is practicing anything bad, bad religion, bad whatever, karma doesn't miss anybody. So instead of you giving it so much power, you can give power to feeling like I'm protected from any any hurt, harm, or danger. Here we have the Eight of Swords, the Judgment card, the Devil card, the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Coins, and also the Two of Coins. I mean, the Two of Wands. Excuse me. The Judgment card. The Judgment card is like the Judgment card represents a total transformation. The Devil wants to keep somebody in this enslaved way of thinking, like enslaved to some kind of obsession. I'm obsessed with thinking that this person is practicing bad witchcraft on me. And, and, and you keep talking about it, right? Giving more and more fire and air to it. And it's like somebody is like, I'm enslaved to some kind of lust. I can't cut this X off or I'm, I feel restricted. Your ancestors are saying, come on up to your highest frequency and transform to your higher self to see that they don't have the power that you're giving them. Unless you show cracks in your foundation with this self-sabotage. Sword energy is thinking. That's air. You're giving a lot of thought to it. You're talking about it. When you can cut yourself off, you can cut these, these bondages off. You can cut yourself. You can free yourself from any kind of bondage. You can take off these blindfolds. Imagine having a sword right here but still got on blindfolds and can't see. You got something, you got a weapon in your hand. That sword is like, stop overthinking it. And it's telling you here too, further, take that sword and cut that thing off. Cut that thing off. You may have felt like somebody said or did something from your past that cut you deep like a sword, right? And so this sword has one smooth, so it's like a machete, like one smooth side and one side cuts real deep. 
So somebody, you could have felt like somebody said something that cuts you deep and that fire could enrage you and make you want to come back at them and say something. But sources like, you got too much, you got too many seeds to plant to your wealth. That's what source is trying to see. You got too much seeds, too many seeds to plant to your wealth. You got the whole world in your hands. You got a lot of wonderful opportunities coming your way. And all you have to do is stop talking about it. Stop giving life to it. All you need to do is protect your heart. Protect your emotions. Protect your creativity. That's what source is trying to tell somebody, Sagittarius. So the more life you give to thinking somebody's, you know, practicing some kind of devil worship or you know trying to harm you in some way shape form or fashion source is saying it's time for you to nurture your own emotions instead of allowing something from the past to overwhelm you instead of allowing something from the past to overwhelm you and ruin your life here we have the six of cups we have the eight of pentacles we have the magician card we have the strength card we also have the king of swords and also the knight of swords Night energy again. Night energy again. Night energy is about taking action. Remember I said earlier, this is air, this is your thoughts, and then fire. You know, fire is, you're giving, um, you're giving, you know, fire to something. Like you're giving, um, um, you're giving some kind of power to something that, that, that is, that doesn't have dominion over you. You're giving to conversation and anger, like this passionate anger. And sources saying, get as far away from that. Anybody that's even trying to bring up certain conversations that's causing you to be angry and even join in the reindeer games, oh, this person is the devil. Then, you know, give up the low vibrational conversations about things. Here we have the Eight of Pentacles, because Source wants you to put your fire behind your money, your fire behind loyal relationships you got to remember that the devil doesn't play fair we're not talking about a person we're talking about their spirit there's a lot of people on that lower frequency that you can connect with and as you are talking about somebody practicing devil worship and witchcraft and you're giving life to it you're also it's what's the, what's the, that uh it's it's called a, it's a saying that says there's no honor amongst thieves right those same energies will turn around and talk negatively about you, like you're leaving cracks open. So if somebody wanted to practice witchcraft on you or some uh, like bad witchcraft, that is, or some kind of devil worship or send some kind of hex or whatever your way, source is saying to you, if you're hovering in that space, that low frequency, you're leaving yourself wide open because now you're telling people what your insecurities are. You're telling people what frustrates you and what angers you. It's like it's like uh, you, we've all seen people like start a new job and you you trying to you trying to blend in and make friendships with people and you're in this open setting like you you know let's share let everybody share something about each other right and you share with people that you don't have your hearing isn't that great right you know um, thinking that you're amongst friends or that you're amongst a safe space and then you find out later on that enemy was in there listening to you saying that my hearing isn't so great guess what later on they you leaving them oh, leaving it open for gaslighting you were thinking hey i'm on a new job i'm away from somebody from my past or i'm in a new group and i'm away from some people from my past and and because you're talking about certain things your insecurities your instabilities your it's not like you're walking into a group thinking that you are you have it all together but you got to know what setting to talk about it, Sagittarius. Like you talking about it in a setting with your therapist. If you're saying, okay, I don't hear that well, or I don't see that well or whatever. That cannot be your insecurity. Because if you're talking about it, like if you're saying, well, you know, I, you know, I was mistreated on my last job because I couldn't really hear that well. And I had a manager that gaslighted me. What if you, what if you talking to, what if you got a, a manager who you, you're not familiar with shape shifting yet, who is sitting right there saying, hmm, okay. And then looking for a new victim. And so now you just share with your what your, your insecurities are. So source is saying, get on your horse, get as far away from believing that anybody has that kind of power to harm you and get into protecting your energy. You may have been cut, you may have been burned in the past, but source is like heal first so that you can walk into situations feeling like you're whole and complete. Not that you think you're better than somebody, but that you're whole and complete and you're not walking into things that's overwhelming for you. Where you're like, okay, who I'm looking for these new group of people to be my savior and you can be stepping right into 
whatever I think the saying is stepping out of the frying pan into the fire or something like that but you don't want to put yourself in those situations so I'm trying to help you all to learn how to protect yourself so you got blessings coming your way additional streams of income you know coming your way new creative ideas coming your way and so source really wants you to start focusing on saving yourself and operating in childlike faith because again you got the whole world in front of you and sources like your third eye is open you're highly intuitive you're a person that knows how to inspire people and so you know certainly going along in the same vein of you being in a new group and having childlike faith if you know if somebody says you tell me a little bit about yourself tell them about things that's not that's not an insecurity for you like i have a dog or i was thinking about getting a dog and um you know, i was thinking about you know you know um um taking a knitting class like something that's like you know that's not you know irritating a demon right irritating one of your you know your insecurities or something you can keep it all surface conversation. Here we have strength card and magician card. So clear messages are coming through to you that God is saying to you, stay focused on your purpose. Why are you here on earth? Stay focused there. Because you're certainly a very smart person. You're a very powerful person. And this is a person who has mental clarity. And so again, if you're dealing with somebody who may have gaslighted you in the past or, you know, whatever in the past sources saying get as far away from talking about it as a fire sign because that's that's emotionally draining for you looks like it's emotionally draining you know for you so let's keep it moving forward let's keep it moving forward sagittarius let's keep it moving forward let's keep it moving forward let's keep it moving forward let's see here we have the ace of wands again we have the hangman we have the moon card again death rebirth high priestess and also the tower card so the tower card lets me know now that you're on the other side of this and now that something may have already ended source is saying where are you going to put your energy that's your tower moment like tower moment doesn't have to be a bad thing because some things from your past keep could keep trying to rear its ugly head like i said before even if you belong to a group and somebody's saying hey so and so is going to show up in the group you can just move on. You, you recognize, where am I going to put my energy? I don't have to speak to the person. I don't have to make myself available at all. They don't have to speak to me. I can just move on and keep my vibrations high. Keep my vibrations high, right? Remember, you all are fighting against being a mutable sign, which is um, highly adaptable. And so that can work in your favor or can work against you, right? And so source is saying, hang in there. Here we have the hang one or the hang man. This is where you are sacrificing your old self. Like, hang in there. You know, the old me would have, you know, gone along with the flow of something low vibrational. The new me, if somebody starts bringing up something where somebody, I felt like somebody hurt me or I felt, I believe somebody is practicing bad witchcraft or sending bad energy my way, I would have. And again, like I said, anybody who is practicing anything negative, they don't have the power that it'll come back and hit them so if they're wishing this on you that can come back and hit somebody that they love that can come back and it'll humble them real quick so you giving talking about it is giving power to it and you're giving it's like you're building up your own fear you know and it is so your own insecurities and like you know starve the enemy and it'll flee here we have the the hangman and so here we have the high priestess somebody is also highly intuitive and highly gifted and sources saying you got a lot of downloads, a lot of dreams that's coming through. You're very sensitive to energy. You got your your highly um, magnetic people want to be attached to you, Sagittarius. So make sure you protect your energy. Don't just go along with the flow of negative conversations and people who are hating on other people or trying to get you to relive something that was traumatic for you. Flush all that stuff out with water so that you can clearly see what people's intentions are. Like, why are you bringing something up? that was like in the past for me. Your intuition is extremely heightened. So that's what I have for you. That's what I have for you. We got the Ace of Wands coming out twice. You know, further having a broom. Somebody feels like, okay, now it's time to sweep away all of that stuff, right? Sweep away all of this thinking that somebody's a witch, like this witch hat right here. Sweep away all of that. Let me move on from this. Like, let me, if they're practicing witchcraft, even if it's bad witchcraft, it can't hurt me. You know, it, it, it can't hurt me. So let me move on from it. Let me move on. If they plotting and planning, that same thing could happen to them. They could be transferring their, their wealth to me. So again, stop giving that, that energy to it. Because it can drain you. It really, really can drain you. It really give power to what you think the worst of a situation is. So here we have individuality. 
every person has their own personalized study in this earth school. Um, everyone has their own personalized study plan in this earth school. Yep. So sometimes what that looks like, because you're protected and they could also have their protected as well, God may make so sure that you all don't, um, you know, accidentally be in the same room or the same space as each other. They could be running late. You could be running late just so, so can avoid any of that. So again, you know, be grateful to source. If you're going to put your energy towards something, put your energy towards working for source. What is your purpose here on earth? In that, there's healing, there's clarity. It feels like you can levitate. You feel motivated. You're motivating other people. I mean, so many things you can put your energy towards. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what your other um, oracle card says. Let's see what your other oracle cards. Let's see what your other oracle cards uh, say. Let's see what's in your other oracle cards. Let's see. Nothing is yet set in stone, right? Again, as a mutable sign, you don't want to just go along with the flow of just letting people just pour negativity into your spirit, Sagittarius, because you trying to give light. I think this person is practicing witchcraft on me because I got blockages here and you know, and I, it just keeps coming up in my spirit. My money isn't coming. Are you in a space to receive more money? Are you in a, in, a, in a space to receive guidance from God? Are you in a space to receive? That's feminine energy. Are you in a space to receive nurturing from people who want to help you? Or are you giving all of this because you're a giver? Are you giving all of this energy to who's practicing witchcraft and trying to come up against you when God is clearly telling you, that you're divinely protected. The old you, the, the, the old you in the past would have given a lot of energy to it. The new you, this is the beauty of the upside of adaptability. The new you is saying, I'm divinely protected. I'm not giving energy to that anymore. I'm going to stop talking about it. Every time somebody brings it up, you know, and the same thing with you. If they have tower cards in their cards and tower card in their spread of cards, every time you bring it up, it's going to come back and hit you. You're giving more power to it. So be careful just be careful because the tower can fall either way but just recognize that if god is blocking something just be grateful massage go get a massage go get a massage right go get a massage here we have three plus four is seven so that god can piece all the puzzle pieces of the puzzles for you that's the amazing thing about god source um, most high God, when I say when I say God, source, or when I say source, I'm talking about the most high God. That's the beautiful thing about most high God is that when it doesn't make sense to us, God will piece it together. You can be having a conversation, speaking of massage with your massage therapist. Then they, they have no idea what you're going through. And all of a sudden, they're telling you exactly what I'm saying here in the car, just to reiterate. It was like God sent the message through me, and then I'll send it through somebody else. And you're like, okay, God, you reiterated it for, you know, for me to get it. Like I didn't get it at first, did it again, and number seven again. God will make you feel like you're brilliant because you're piecing things together. Right, so you possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes gives you a greater awareness than most. That's right. Somebody is highly intuitive, and that sensitivity actually is a gift. And so if you're really that gifted, then you'll know karma simply means in Sanskrit to come back. Whatever energy people send out, good or bad is going to come back to them so just like whatever energy you send out good or bad will come back to you so somebody could very well be practicing witchcraft but it may not be bad witchcraft so you know this is a time to educate you know yourselves and so you can keep your frequency you keep your vibrations high that's what source wants you to do is not to be chained to lower frequencies and connect with those type of energies or even get involved because getting involved with these lower frequencies who are practicing bad witchcraft will have this tower to fall on you and you're like, oh my God, why is my life in shambles? Somebody, and again, you're giving more power to somebody else saying, I know they're over there doing something because I tried this, this isn't working, I'm trying that. Get away from those energies that are practicing. If you believe somebody's a witch, get away from those energies that are practicing bad, or bad witchcraft because a good witch would not do that. Like, didn't you see the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> Did you see the Wiz or the Wizard of Oz? Good witch, bad witch? Like, yeah. Anyway, so let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here so we can go ahead and close this out. Let's see where we can go ahead and close this out. Let's see if we can close it out. Bliss. Affirmations for bliss. I liberate my highest self. That's this right here. I liberate my highest selves. 
My life is full of wonderful surprises. I am free to be me. I express my individuality. I am grateful for my unique qualities. I see the beauty in the highs and lows of life. I am connected to all that is. I am grateful for silver linings. And so that's why this number seven is so prevalent in your reading, because this is where I'm connected or I see the beauty in the highs and lows of life. So that's God's way of connecting, making things make sense. That's why there's brilliance here in your car, Sagittarius, because God is connecting. God, the God that's in you and that's in them and that this person and that person is connecting the dots for you. So it's letting you know why I haven't seen uh, why I haven't seen people in a long time because God is working on me. God is working on them. Or it was there was some comedian. I forgot who which comedian it was. It's like there was this comedian that was saying um, they were telling it was a serious story. It wasn't a joke that they were telling, but it was some it was some guy comedian. I can't remember which guy it was. Comedian um, was saying something about how like many years ago when they were like not as popular as they are today. They somebody had somebody mismanaged some money or somehow some money came up stolen or missing or whatever, and God made sure that that comedian did not cross paths with this person because this person was so like seeming like down on their luck they may have committed a crime like really hurt that person if they had seen that person and so by the time by the time this person's career was you know getting better and better they were making more money they were more successful and then they crossed paths with the person so the money was not as you know like that person wouldn't have acted out of desperation so when when source makes it so that you can't that you're not coming in contact with something you want to see that as a blessing because in that time source could be working on you was working is evolve you are evolving but so are they and so what would have once been like this major frustration where it was a bunch of confusion like the enemy likes to pe keep people in a state of confusion and, and really make you believe that another human being is responsible for your lack of success or your miss you know property or lack of material success the enemy would love people to believe that but that people don't have that power that you know again talking about it and and all of this and letting people all of that you they don't have nobody has power to do that to you so source wants you to stay focused Sagittarius I will see you all on Sunday bye